cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Good Let's morning, everybody, and welcome back. So still got some ham in that fridge left over from Easter. And by the way, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Yep, we always have ham that's left over, and in my book, that's a good thing. Here's the deal. Um, as of today, tomorrow, you really need to, if you're not going to use that ham, freeze it. And, you know, there's lots of great things that you can do with it. I have a bunch of great re recipes on the website uh, that you can, you know, use up that ham. Um, scalloped potatoes and ham in the slow cooker, which I did last week on, on Good Day Wisconsin. Uh, but one of my favorite ways to use it is in hot ham and cheese sandwiches. These are so delicious, and it takes an ordinary ham sandwich to a whole new level, and it's all about the spread. So if you've got some ham in that fridge, use it up to make this, or just go to the deli if you don't have any ham and, and get them to shave you up some and use it to make these sandwiches. They make a really nice lunch, but they also make, because they're hot and you, you bake them in the oven, a really nice light dinner with a salad or a cup of soup. So we're going to start with the spread, and this is the secret part of this recipe. Starts with, and this is going to make a bunch of sandwiches, so you can certainly cut the spread recipe in half. So it starts with a stick of butter that we let soften at room temperature, and that's real important. We also have one cup of mayo, and then one to two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. It depends how mustardy you like it. I like to use Dijon mustard rather than the yellow hot dog mustard, uh, mustard in this recipe. And then a little bit of garlic salt. And that's really one of the secret ingredients in here. It's going to give this spread some great flavor. I've been fortunate to work with a lot of great chefs. And um, a lot of the top chefs in the country are actually opening sandwich shops. Sandwiches are back. They're on trend. And some of the secrets to a, a great sandwich a really good spread, good bread, of course, and then, you know, good fixings inside. So you want to mix this all together so that the butter really gets incorporated with everything else. Now, I picked up some hard rolls from the bakery at Festival, or you could even use hamburger buns. I love poppy seed for this recipe, but any type of hard roll will do. And then you need to put plenty of spread on the buns. That's the other secret to a good sandwich. No skimping on the spread. I hope you'll join me. Um, a really neat event going on in Oshkosh at Aurora Medical Center. It's a, a fun event for women. I'm going to be doing a free cooking demo out there Saturday, May 3rd. So hope you'll join me. It's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, so now we've got some ham, a few slices of ham, a few slices of Swiss cheese, just depends on how much you want on there. And then here's how you toast these up. You wrap each of them in foil, and you put them on a baking sheet. Around tailgate season, you can also throw these on the grill. Or actually, you can throw them on the grill now. You just want to keep them over low heat. The foil is going to protect that bun from getting dried out. But um, it's also going to allow you know, um, the insides to get nice and warm and toasty. And then that spread is going to get all melty, yummy, and delicious. So come back with me. These bake in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. You can open up, and normally I'll have several of these on a cookie sheet. Just kind of get an assembly line going. Depends on how many sandwiches you need. And then you open them up. Carefully open them up. And like I said, the bun gets all toasty. The cheese gets all melty. The ham gets warm. And that spread just really makes it. And you know me. I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin this Sunday. I'm doing a real quick and easy uh, chicken and mushroom in one skillet with a, a delicious cream sauce. Living with Amy today, also about more ways to use up that leftover ham. Doing a tortellini skillet with ham and peas, and then one of my all-time favorite has, uh, casseroles. It's a, an elegant chicken and ham casserole with Swiss cheese. So you see how this gets... Oh, yeah, ooey and gooey and melty. This sandwich is the bomb. It really is. My baked hot ham and cheese sandwiches. Recipe is on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Pete and Rachel get to try these when we come back, so stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.